Well, so far I've really been liking the uh, amp, and I've used it at several gigs. Now, I seem to really like the uh, Jensen Neo speakers on this amp. So I've always wanted to take one out and then try it on a few other amps that I have in my studio. So the other day I decided to take the 112 out, and I'll just kind of show you what I did here. So it was very easy. I took out the 112 on the one side where I usually don't put the uh, mic. I always have a Sennheiser mic that I hang and I seem to always hang it over on that one speaker. So uh, I took the other speaker out. Now I always prefer the sound of 112 versus 212. So then, you know, I, maybe I should have bought the uh, Deluxe Reverb. Well, the problem is I really don't like the sound of those amps. I like the sound of the twin. So, you know, the idea again was to, uh, take one speaker out and, you know, try it on some other amp heads and other amps in my studio. But then at the same time, I thought, well, maybe I'll just keep going here and take more stuff out. So I ended up taking the tilt back legs off and the top back panel, as you can see, is off. Now, my idea here was to make the amp now lighter. So with the, uh, speaker out you're going to save about five pounds so you'll shave five pounds off the tilt back legs were about a pound together and now i also took off the uh the top little back piece panel and that was a pound so now when you take off this uh back piece panel this was saving about a pound so now if you have this piece on the top you're looking at about 27 pounds. You take the piece off and you're down to 26 pounds the way it is now. So at the last gig I played the other day, I took the amp just as is. Now I've just for the fun of it, I've lifted the amp up, you know, with this piece on and off. And the one pound really seemed to make a difference to me anyway. So I just left it off because really it's not really protecting a whole lot on the top part when it's on. It's probably mainly there to just kind of protect the speaker so nothing leans into it. You know, I might put it back on later. You know, I mean, you're only saving a pound, but like I said, it seemed to make a difference when I got it down to 26 pounds. So as for the sound and how it worked with one speaker, it sounded better and again I'm not sure exactly what it is maybe you're pushing one speaker more but at the gig it was it sounded way better with the 112 versus the 212 I had it on the it, it was on the uh, 12 watt setting and I had the volume around 8 and you know with the overdrive pedal on the whole time with a light gain but anyway uh, you know uh, I might later put things back together but uh, for now it's going to stay as is it was way easier to carry on the stairs and it's louder than the Fender Deluxe Tone Master so uh, you know the Deluxe Reverb uh, you know is a little more narrow or it's not as not as wide so that's nice but you know the weight is very similar now so and you have the extra power so I love this and I I can't wait to try one of those uh, Neo 12s on my other uh, amps and uh, one's going to be a Boss Katana, another one's going to be a Marshall head, and I also have a, a Music Man amp uh, that I'm going to try it on. And I'm mainly going to be trying out, you know, the clean sounds, that's the whole idea. And uh, see if I can get a sound that's uh, similar to the Twin with the same speaker. So uh, if you want to shave a few pounds off, even just taking the tilt back legs off, uh, that, you know, will save you a little bit. And... Uh, I never use those tilt back legs. Uh, I never have. So I uh, figured well I have that extra weight on there. So I took those. That might be one thing you want to take off if you don't if you don't tilt your amp back. But anyway, thanks for watching.